Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you seven ways to add new clients into your training program. Now, this is for you if you are a coach or a personal trainer that's looking to grow your business. And these are proven strategies that have helped me a lot the past decade with my business. These have helped a lot of coaches and trainers that we've helped all over the world over the last four and a half years since we started helping coaches. And I know these will help you. And this is going to require a pen and a piece of paper. If you have those two things, I want you to write notes. And I also want you to ask me questions in the comment section. If you have any questions for me, ask me questions there. I will be happy to help. Now I have my trusty notepad here. All right, it's got the seven different ways, all right, that I'm gonna be helping you here. Uh, the first is we need to deploy and defend your marketing message. Now, what do I mean by this? This means that whatever emails or whatever uh, social media, whatever videos you post, you need to deploy marketing, that's number one, and you need to have your own message. Your messaging should be unique to you, all right? If you do what everyone else does, you're not going to be unique. You're going to fit in with everyone. You need to have your own style, your own, I would say your own mix of how your marketing comes across and you need to defend your message, right? So here's a great example, very simple. For me, on this YouTube channel, I deploy uh, videos three times a week. I defend uh, my marketing message because I always constantly talk about how building a business takes time. It's not this overnight thing. Uh, a lot of people on YouTube talk about th this overnight bullcrap success. I talk about the opposite because I know what works and I know it doesn't work. Right? And I will defend that message until I'm dead. Right? So that, work, that works really well for me. And that attracts coaches who think that way to get on a call with me, all right? That's why I defend it, all right? I cannot be all over the place with my marketing. I need to be focused and I need to deploy many messages and I need to defend my message. So you have a stance, you have a clear cut stance with where, where do you stand, all right, with how you think. Okay. That's very important because how you are on camera, how you are in real life, that should be the exact same, <laughs> right? But your marketing should draw in the right types of clients that you want to work with and it should deflect everybody else, right? I'm very clear about that. You should deflect everyone else. Not everyone's going to love you. I know for a fact, not every coach and trainer that watches me loves what I talk about, and that's fine. Cowboy and I are chilling, all right? I don't care about that. I care about helping, all right? So that's it. Now, the second one here, this is standard. This should be standard within your business. Every 30 days, we go to your clients and we tell them about your referral program, all right? Now, if you have one client who refers a ton of new clients in your program, they are doing the marketing for you. And if they know, like, and trust you, they're going to want to refer clients into your program. So you should, every 30 days, go tell them. Like, find out what they like. This is why it's a relationship business. When you find out what your clients like, and we say, hey, uh, when you refer a new client in, you get this, or I'm going to give you this gift card, or I'm going to do this, whatever it is, Right? It's simple, you know what they like, you're giving them something that they want and they are adding new clients in your business. It's a great way, simple way to grow your program. All right? That's the other one. And when you think about referrals, that should be something within the first 30 days when you add a new client, that's something that they should, be, they should know about. Right? Because whether you think this or not, your clients want you to have a successful business. They want you to succeed. They 
are taking time out of their life to meet with you throughout the week. They are investing already into you, so they want you to succeed. But oftentimes, clients are not going to just go get you referrals, right? And a lot of coaches and trainers think that that's going to happen and that doesn't happen. So you need to tell them, you need to ask them, all right? You need to give them instruction on how to give you referrals, all right? Very, very important. All right, next one here. This is very, very key, and I am very certain most, and I'd say 95% of coaches and personal trainers are not doing this, which is you need to be improving your sales percentage on a monthly basis, all right? Now, does that mean that you're going to be able to close 10 out of 10 clients? No, that's not what I'm talking about, all right? But I am talking about at the end of the month, you should be able to track all of your calls, all of your sales calls, whether you have someone doing that for you or if you are doing it personally. That is something that you need to pay very close attention to, right? The easiest way to figure that out is we have total amount of calls, right? Total amount of converted calls, right? And the notes of why those who did not convert, why did they not convert? And then we go back in the next month and we start to understand, you know, what are their objections? So now we can cover these objections in this next month. So these are not no longer objections anymore. We can turn those into positives. We can, we can make our program set up now to where, you know, that those objections might be included within the program, right? This all comes down to measuring and understanding stats within your business. You don't have to have a Harvard education to create a spreadsheet, right? Obviously, like in our mastermind program, I provide all the templates, all that stuff for you. You don't have to lift a finger, um, but that is something you absolutely should be doing. Tracking every call. When you do that, you add clients, right? Because let's say you're at, let's say you're at 15 to 20% of the calls that you have you close. If you raise that percent by like 5% over the course of a year, that is going to make a huge difference. If you raise that by like 10% or 15%, like you're going to have a completely different business. And this is why when we talk about calls, you need to get reps. You need to get reps. I know most coaches and trainers hate getting on the phone. I know that. I used to hate that too. But that is going to be the way you're going to be able to add clients. Your communication, what you say, how you close, like how well structured is your, is your conversation? Are you asking the right questions? These are things that are very, very critical that a lot of people just, um, they, they, they are just not taking it as serious as they should, okay? Next one, this is not a tactic, this is a routine that you should have every morning when you wake up you should have a schedule that you follow right if your schedule is ironclad and you know that that is non-negotiable there should be zero reason why you are not growing your business period now here's where a lot of people fail they wake up and then try to figure it out right this is where I succeed. This is where a lot of the coaches in our mastermind, where they succeed. Before they go to bed, they write out what they're doing tomorrow and they do what they say they're gonna do. And then on that schedule, they are mapping out their day to a T. That's something you absolutely should be doing if you're not doing it, right? And it, it's, not, it's not people who are lazy that don't do it. It's people who are undisciplined. Right? So if you are disciplined, you will do that every day. You will take your life very seriously. You're going to take your business really seriously. And think about it. I promise you, your competitors aren't doing that. So who's going to have a better business? You are. Right? That one little thing can make a huge difference. Not only in your business, but more importantly, in your personal life. You'll be able to create way more freedom. Right? Entrepreneurs need structure. Right? And I used to think, I, I used to think this when I had my last job, this was a long time ago. I used to think, oh, well, when I have a business, 
I'm going to get to wake up whenever I want. I'm going to get to do whatever I want during the day. And then I quickly found out that's not going to lead to a successful business, <laughs> right? You need to have 100% structure from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed. And that should be written out. Can't just figure it out. Like no one just figures it out during the day. That's, that's not how you should operate. You need to operate like a CEO. And the CEO is going to operate where when they wake up in the morning, they see on their calendar, my calendar is right here, all right? They see, all right, this is what I'm doing hour by hour today, and I'm not gonna deviate. That's the level of focus I'm talking about, all right? Next one here, this is number five. Have a non-negotiable 30-day target for sales. So this is very important. If your goal is, all right, I wanna close four new clients into my program this month, then the goal should be whatever four times the amount of money that is, let's say it's $300 a month uh, per client, that's a $1,200 goal that is non-negotiable. So you are promising yourself that over the next 30 days, you're going to have the amount of sales calls that you need in order to close four clients. And that needs to be done by a certain date. It's non-negotiable. You're giving yourself 30 days to do it. Now, when you have that sense of urgency, it's easier to get more clients because you're giving yourself a deadline. And whether you fall short of that deadline or whether you exceed that, uh, that goal by a lot, to me, it's not going to be about putting a lot of pressure. It's giving yourself more urgency. You need to have a heightened sense of urgency to be more successful with your business, right? If I'm like, well, this month I wanna add more clients. That's not specific, right? That could be one client, that could be 100. No one knows what I'm talking about. So on my whiteboard, I need to be clear on here's how many clients I will add into my program over the next 30 days. And then after that, I put, here's how many sales calls I need to have over the next 30 days to make this happen. How do I know what that number is? Because I've been tracking my calls. So when you track your calls, you know your stats. And when you know your stats, you know how many calls are needed in order all right, to close four clients. Pretty simple, all right? Next one here, this is so important, all right? You need to build the best reputation. Now, let's just take a step back real quick and let's think, whatever city or state or country you're in, doesn't matter, we know that if you're in a conversation with some of your friends and they're like, hey, where do you want to go eat? Like, the first restaurant that comes to mind for you is probably your favorite restaurant. And it's your favorite restaurant for a, a variety of reasons. They either have the best food or the best service or the best drinks or like the best dessert, whatever it is. But they have built that reputation with you as the customer. And that's why you like it the most, right? And when you like it the most, you are going to probably spend more money than their average customer, right? Because that is a restaurant that you really, really like. They have built that reputation with you. It's in your mind. It's your favorite thing. It's the same thing across every industry. If you need to go get your oil changed or you need to go get your car fixed or you need to go to a doctor or you need to go see a lawyer, it doesn't matter. Everything is reputation based. And a lot of that is going to also come in from other people that you know, like, and trust. Your business is the exact same. If your reputation sucks, expect to get zero referrals. Expect those sales calls you have to go south, right? If you don't have a bunch of reviews on your Facebook page, if you don't have a bunch of uh, case studies with clients that you've been working on, how, how are new people going to believe that you are the go-to expert for solving their problem? They're not. Right? We're in 2020. Everyone's looking at reviews. Everyone's asking questions to their friends. Hey, have you trained with this guy before? Right? That happens. That happens. So your reputation 
should be the thing that attracts new customers in. And it's not difficult to have a good reputation. As long as you are providing results, which would be the last thing we talked about, and you are really good to people, like you really care about your clients, you're going over and beyond, you're giving them something. Like when, when they pay for your program, when they pay and invest into you, you are giving them something 10, 10 times in return, right? You are solving their problem and you are making their life better. And with that, your reputation gets better because you actually care about your clients. You have systems in place that are going to make it easy for your clients to know, like, and trust you, right? And a lot of that has to do with how your business is set up. How, how is your program designed, right? Those things are very critical. But if you have a crappy reputation, you're gonna get crappy clients. If you have a good reputation, you're going to get great clients who are very loyal to you and your business for a long period of time, right? And you get to decide what your reputation is. That's up to you. Last one here. This is my favorite one because this is what a lot of people don't focus on, right? It is you must become a result-based company, right? This means that your business is not about you. It has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with your clients. Your clients and showing their success stories over and over and over and over and over again is how you are going to get new clients. That's how you grow your business by becoming a results-based company. So what does that mean? That means that you are the best in the world at solving your client's problems. Right? You can do it faster than everyone else. Uh, you have more results, you have more case studies, you have more transformations. Your clients are really happy work, working with you. You have the best accountability systems on the planet. These are the things that allow you to run a results-based company. And here's the deal. If you're a trainer, don't you want your clients to get good results? Uh, don't we want them to get results faster? And don't we want to showcase the results so other people who are, who are dealing with those same types of problems can join the program, right? It makes sense, but you need to frame your business, right? As a results based company and your social media should be the thing and email marketing should be the thing where you highlight your clients. You talk about their success stories, you talk about where they were, where they are now. We get videos of your clients talking about, you know, before I started this program, here's where I was. And after we joined the program, this is what happened. Here's where I am now. All right, we show the transformation of your clients. And we do that over and over and over again, all right? When you do that and you're consistent, all right, you get more clients, period. Here's the deal, all right? When coaches join our mastermind program, before they do that, they see a long series of testimonials, videos, uh, they see results from other coaches we've helped over the last couple of years, and there's a lot of them. And then on Instagram, I have over like 200 testimonials on there, all right? So it's easy for a coach who watches this YouTube channel to trust that I know what I'm talking about because we have gotten results. Now, if there are zero results, it'd be very difficult for someone to want to join because they'd be very skeptical, right? So I defend our consulting program with results over and over and over and over and over again. That's all I care about. I don't care about anything other than helping you as the coach and trainer get results so you can grow your business, period, all right? And if you're watching this video and you're like, dang, I want to check that out. I want to see what that program is about. All you have to do, first step, is send me a text message at 210-960-5771. When you text me there, I will send you the next steps. Just tell me your name, uh, you know, what type of sport or what, what type of trainer you are. Um, and then from there, uh, 
I will send that over to you. You can check it out. Uh, and I will tell you, like, you're going to realize after you watch this video that I have, you're going to see the gaps that you have within your business. You're going to see where you could be, right? You'll see where you can be with your business. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching the video. Take these seven tips. I promise you these are going to help you out a lot. They will help you out tremendously if you implement them. That's it. I'll see you later. Shoot me a text if you have any questions.